I'm going to have a go at this, make myself a notepad. And this will be the front. I'm going to cheat because I'm going to try and put um, some flowers and build them up, see if it will work. So to begin with, and I'm going to use resin, uh, UV, put that one in, and I'll put that one in. Um, be very careful you don't scratch your mould because if you do that's it, it will be there forever um, no, I don't want that there this down Once I put this on, I'm, that's it, it's stuck. Let me let's see got, what I've got here. Got a little tiny one that I can put in as well. Does it? And then put some flowers in as well. Okay, hold on. Right, okay, so I want to put them down. So this dries clear. So I am just literally going to go up the stems. I will get my brush and I will brush it out. So at least this way I know they will be stuck down hopefully. So you take a lid off. Now all I used to clean my brush off was nail varnish remover. 
and paper towel just soaked it and it come up nice and soft. So I'm thinking this way you won't get all the bubbles because it's already flattened down and cured. I don't know if this is going to work because I don't know if resin sticks to UV very well. What I might do once I've finished doing this is actually sort of like make it a bit rough somehow. To make it something to adhere to. Okay. Let's see what happens when I give that a blast. I've done that for 80 seconds. Oops. It's quite boring when you have to sit and wait for it. Now, put on some flowers. I'm just grabbing anything. No rhyme, no reason. Excuse me with my sounds. That's 
like a blue ones here. I might take that one off. I've got white one I can have there. Little blue one in there. The blue one there. Mm. It might be too much blue. Take one off. Perhaps if I go in the right bit. That one.
just realised these have got to go backwards. But to leave it like that or turn it backwards and then put a dark or a white background. If I'm doing white, I don't really want these two on there. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do. These can all go back in my box. You know, they're bits and pieces. You never know when you need them. Okay, so what we're going to do, I've got some UV left. Stick them down. So that should be covered near enough. I know that's what the UV resin is not really made for. But I'm just going to sit here and gradually play around, get it stuck, stick it down. It's not quite a 3D sort of thing I was thinking of. 
pretty good to him. Okay, so that is basically done. Oh, don't. There you go, now I shall blast that with this and I shall do it like that and then I shall turn it. Right, so it's my tissue. Now what I'm doing, because I won't be, don't think I'll be using much more. Just put a bit of gold leaf in there. Don't know, it might do. Just move it down a bit. I might put some gold leaf in, just a little bit around the edges. in between the flowers not sure what do you think oh, I better clean my brush anyway so all I do is basically pour some on my tissue then give it a Whirl around and hold it. It's only a cheap brush I got out of um, B and M. I think it was or a pound shot. I think it was something like a pound for about ten, ten different brushes. So that's done. Okay. Don't know why that's gone back on. Okay. Okay, so I might put some gold leaf in amongst some of the flowers. You want it on the flowers. Never mind.
doesn't matter if I'm scraping this bit because this bit has got the UV resin on it. But anything near the actual um, ooh, silicon, I would not scratch it. Don't want loads and loads. Just enough to give it a little bit of bling bling. It's Billy, you know it's Billy up there. Right, this is all still sticky, so hopefully, hopefully, it will all stick to resin. So I'm going to mix some resin up and I shall be back. Okay, so I've mixed up my resin and I've decided I'm going to put a little bit of enchanted gold in it. This is one of my go-tos. I love it, absolutely love it. When it shows on your, goes into your resin, you just see a sparkle. And I'm literally going to put a little tiny bit in. I don't know if you can see how little. This is a very small uh, spoon. That's going in there. It's just to give the, the resin just that little bit of sparkle. You'll see what I mean when it, dry Ooh, when it dries. Okay, so. Let's hope it all takes fingers crossed and somewhere where did I see, where was it there I've got to make sure it goes under that one because that one did not stick down for some reason hopefully it's all right We're getting it all in the corners, up to the edges, round the little holes where the clip things go to. Okay, round there, round there, come on, over here. Let's put 
Let's move it. Make sure there's nothing that is gonna be bubbling. Hopefully. Hopefully, she says. I've got a gold float in there. Never mind. It's fine. Come over here. Try here in there somewhere. Right, so I think. Is literally as far as I can go with it. Okay, Ooh, I've got some left. Mixed up too much. So now, what I'm going to do is give it a quick blast. Get rid of all them pesky bubbles. For some reason. That is still sitting up. Don't know why. It's got a big bubble under there, look. And another one. And I just have to hope it sticks down. Stays down. Hopefully, might be able to top coat it if not, just to hold it down. I think I've got it, I'm not sure. But yeah, there you go. Bit of hair there. Clean the gold out as well, and there, I think, unless it's just bits of gold I can see. But yeah, there you go. Give it another quick, especially around that one there. And next, all I do is if I see a bubble, I'll give it a quick quick shot that's it that's got to dry now and then tomorrow when I can mold this I'll do the back to it and I'll bring you on that journey as well because I might put flowers on the back as well or maybe a tattoo or a flower or something I'm not sure but anyway see you later right I'm back again so this is what I've done the other day Gonna demold this one, this one, these. Gonna put a sticker on there, a, a tattoo on there. Um, see how it turns out, and then I'm gonna do the back to this, and uh, then I'll demold it hopefully tomorrow, because it'll be too late tonight. I'll be in bed, um, and then see how that turns out but I thought we'd have a go at demolding this first this is one where I just had mica mica resin left over and I just poured it in here and I actually didn't realize at the time that I literally filled it up with what was left over so I put ink dropped inks in and the white and everything so let's have a look What I do is I always pull the pull them out first and then unhook one, unhook two, three, oh that bottom feels really thin, four, five, and the sixth, and then out from the middle. And that's it. That's all on the outside, so that will clean up easy enough. Oh, that's really pretty. Considering that it's just all resin that was left over and I thought ah, I'd just dump some ink in it and see what happens. It's turned out really nice. Well, I'm happy as Larry with that. I think what I might do is I'll do it now whilst I remember. 
I'll put that there. Uh, turn that on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just fill this up with plain UV resin. Do a little bit layer first. Use my little stick and spread it about. Should really use um, your respirator for doing this. So then I'm going to shove it underneath that for 90 seconds. 99 seconds or whatever it is so while that's doing let's have a look at these pens I was a little bit overfilled you just pull it off and oops pull it out there's your pen now the sides are sharp so I'm going to me now and everything. Um, so with my burring tool I will just gently take the edges off so they're not sharp. This one was overfilled quite a bit actually I think. But it's not sharp at all. And this side as well. And what you can do if you want to, I mean, pens nine times out of ten, I just make for the fun of making them. I mean, that, that one's a bit, a bit drunk, I think. Um, but what I do, uh, what you can do, sorry, is once you're happy with it, just get a bit of UV resin or something like that on your hands and just run it round. Missed a little tiny bit on the end there, but nothing major, a little bubble there, but it will work. She says, <laughs> oh no, um, yes, there you go, it does work, that's your pen, that's a glittery one, um, what's this one doing, still sticky, so put it on for 80. Right, okay, so this was the shell one. So I just slip it from the back, pull it out. Oh, that's got a big bit missing. That was a big fail. That's the only problem with these pens. You've got to try and get it down, right down into where the pen is. I mean, you could cover that up if you wanted to. A um, bit of an overpour. And there's the shelves. Bit of a shame, but maybe a bit of resin, a bit of UV, build it up. Should be alright. Okay, so then I've got my flower one. Hope this one turned out right. Nope, I can feel holes galore. There's a leaf coming out there. This is a big fail as well. Yeah, got a hole, hole. But what a shame, because that's a pretty one. Got a leaf coming out there. So, but another hole there. But I can always cut that down, fill these little holes in. It was working pen. Another bit of flower hanging out. Don't do these very often. <laughs> and here's another flower one. So, that one has worked out 
brilliantly. Just need to take the edging off because it's a bit sharp. But that's worked, worked out really nicely. Yep, pen works. That's a black pen. So just need that cutting down and that work brilliantly. I'm happy with that one. Okay. It's still a bit tacky, but then it's hard because you can't do it from the inside as well. So let's put some more on. Hit right up. It's going to take some curing. Okay, we'll leave it as that. Ah, no, 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 no. No wonder it started looking like it more going anywhere. I'm to pack it. Baby wipes. Right, okay. That was not meant to happen. That was definitely not meant to happen. Hopefully I've got it all because I like this one. I don't want to ruin it. Put that over there for a minute. Ugh. So no, it's going to drip again. Dripping again. Oh. No, don't you misbehave. Back off. Right. Let's get that light real quick. Normally, as soon as you get the light on it, it all stands still. Right, let's shove that over there. Now, for this one, I'm going to put a little transfer. Now, I've got two of each, I've got two of them. I've got two of them, two of them, two of them. Oh, I've only got one of them. No, you haven't. I tell a lie. Look, it's underneath. I've got two of them. Oh, I've got another two, another lot. Look, didn't realise I had them. So, I'm thinking peacock. Thinking that one. Okay, so what we do, we can get into it all. Okay, so I don't want to just stick it in there like that. So I should get my scissors and I shall make sure you chop that off as well, otherwise, that will end up in your work just chop it around for a bit I'm going to put that one, that one, hang on, which way is it facing? I'll face it down that way, and that, no, that one, that one, and that one that way. Otherwise that's got to go that way. Yeah, so that's that way. Remember to take your sticky off. Believe me, I've done this 
and I have forgotten to take the sticky off. It does not work. Get off. Right, okay, so I'm going to have that here. And then my peacock. I'm going to have there. And I'm going to cheat because I haven't got any water right by hand. So I've got a baby wet baby wipe. And it's exactly the same as a kid's transfer. Wait, well, these are children's transfer. Do exactly the same as you would putting them on a kid. Or yourself if you like transfers. Wet them. And then hopefully you should, if I've done it right, pull it up. And then that one, pull it up. Okay, so then I'm going to let that dry out a little bit and hopefully it will look pretty the other side as well. Right, how's that going? Oh look, it's dripped down there. Oh, how annoying is that? How annoying? Ah, ah right, okay. Sometimes resin does not like to have, or UV doesn't like to stick to resin sometimes, so that might pop off. So I'm going to stick that back under there, give it another 80 seconds, just give it a good old cooking. Right. So while that's cooking, I'm just going to quickly put the rest of my away. Try and clear up a little bit as I'm going. Put that over there. That over there. Where's that one? Okay, so that has got to dry up a little bit, so that can go over there. I don't want that getting stuck with this stuff. Okay, so. I like this pen, so I'm just going to clean it off. Once you get used to these, they're so easy. They are so, so easy. For me, as it's for me. Okay, let's take that out of the way. That should go off. And take this out of the way. That will carry on curing with the sunlight and everything on it. Okay, shove that over there. Okay, so we're back to doing this. This is my little book. Um, it's all cured. So I'm going to take this out. This is the right side.
and I'm as happy as oh it's still a bit wet. now that is because I think I put UV on it and I forgot to clean dry it so give that all a bit of a dry that a bit of a wash out I forgot I put UV in it This book's going to be for me as well. Um, I can find it. Or you. So there's my pad. I might put that in the back background. Hmm. It's quite pretty. Um yeah, so it will be a little book bit somewhere I've got the rings to go in there as well so I can find them by the fine Do that in there, just in plain, or not? Because it's gonna just keep bouncing up in it. Nah, no one. Put him over there now. Okay. So, what we got here? So yeah. Oh, I've got a little hole there. Look. Right. Okay. So what I'm gonna have to do is do a very, very careful top coat that is the front so that that's really okay I'm happy with that anyway but this I think I'm gonna have to put another little coat on it because there's a couple of little holes but that's fine that's where the UV is but that's fine because I'm gonna make blue Resin for this one and that one. And I might put some flowers in that. I don't know. So I'm going to go and um, make my resin. And I'll be back in a minute. Right, I decided I'm going to put some roses on here. I'm not sure if this is going to work. This is on the back. So I'll just give it something to be a bit more than just plain old, plain old, plain old uh, clear resin. This is what was going through my head anyway. I don't know if this is going to work. Right, okay, so that's that one. And then I wanted. I want um, that one I think it was so it goes yeah. I can't 
remember if I'm doing this right. I've had it all laid out now, I can't remember. Hang on. Yeah. feeling I've got this wrong. I should have done it the other way around but never mind. I should have done the bigger ones first. Never mind. Never, never mind. And uh, this one, which was coming with one. This one come yeah. uh, where's the base there? So that's gonna come there. I still haven't made me resin up. <laughs> have made that up while I was doing this. Never mind. Nope. <clears throat> and then this one. So hopefully, oops, lost a bit of um, rose then. Hopefully, oh, and another bit. Oh, Sandra, what are you doing? You just ruined your picture. Oh, stupid woman. Okay, take that off. Oh, what a plonker. What a wally wombat. Oh well, I lost them all because they're all joined up. Never mind, I'll get some different ones out. Shame. See if I can save that rose. Right, uh, try this. Um, no, that 
I've got heroes in it. this one I can put more different flowers on it right I'll save that rose I must hit it with the tissue is it ah oh, that's a shame isn't it they're pretty roses he was pretty, pretty rosy ish. But never, never mind, mind. We just put some lips on. <coughs> um, don't look right, I don't think. Don't look right, not too big. these then um, so coming from underneath. to myself now. Sorry. Uh, um, them and then this one I'm gonna have it come in out from work this out from there nope because that's oh don't you dare come up
Bruch. And this one, I'm going to have come in from that one. Just squeeze the liquid out of this. Just doing it that way. Soaking it in. It does look better with real flowers, I must admit. There we go. Right. Well, I was going to do this tonight, but I've got to let that dry. Oh, there's a bubble in that one. Don't want to push it too much, though. Do. I need to let that dry. That's going to look pretty, I think. Okay. Oh. Hopefully. Everything falling down. I've just got a little tiny pot that I use for me, me rubbish when I'm using it, and I fill it up literally every, uh, empty it literally every day. But I think I do resin that is. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to dry. We'll um, help that in a minute. Try and try it off. A lot of that is bubbles, but I don't think that will take any notice. I think they're literally dry anyway. Right, I shall be back in a few minutes for you um, to fill that up, fill that up. Give that a bit of a coat, very thin coat. Okay, see you in a minute. Bye. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one first. I'm gonna do that with a uh, white. I've mixed up 150 of uh, resin color casting resin it's a two to one ratio um for some reason it just looks very milky i've not used it before so but it looks very milky but it does dry clear so i'm gonna just put some in there okay i might have to make more up 
and a bit some more, some couple of drops of cast and craft in. Only three. No, try gruff, 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 four drops of cast and craft. Don't use that a lot because it's so hard to get hold of. Don't know why. And I'm gonna have Pinata Blank Blanca or Blanco Blanco, whatever you want to call it. And I'm gonna shove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of drops of that in it. I'm gonna give it a mix. I've got my white paste from Resin 8. I should have used that, but I didn't think about it. Okay, I think that's mixed up enough. It's quite, it's not completely opaque. It's got a bit of a see-throughness to it. I just want to make sure it's all mixed in properly. Okay. And I'm all I'm gonna do is pour it in slowly at a bit of a height. Hopefully that'll stop any bubbles. Hopefully, because it's white, it will show them colours up nicely. I'm going to stop there because this looks like it's uneven. So for the moment, I'm just going to prop this up if it helps. Okay, don't know if that's helped or not. Hopefully, put some more in. Right. Now, basically, this has got a lip, and it's all the way around. So you will be so very careful you don't leave bubbles in it. So I'm going to get my stick, and I'm just going round. Just trying to make sure there's no bubbles underneath that lip. Because I poured it slow and high, hopefully there is no bubbles. Hopefully. I see some dust. Right, that's got alcohol and ink, ink in it. So, I am not using the gun. I'm going to spritz it with my alcohol. Just like that. Doesn't matter actually if I do it on that. Because that will help relieve any bubbles in that as well. So that's that done. Right, so this... And for this, I'm going to put some more resin in and I'm going to use um, this pigment, it's just a blue pigment, resin, epoxy resin pigment. It's just from a, a lot I got off of the internet. Give it a good shake. Good old Amazon again. 
got these when I first started. I thought they were the resin ink, so they're not. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what that comes out as, because I've got a bit of white in there as well, don't forget. Still got some white left over. Oh, and it stinks. It does smell funny. Oh. It's a lovely blue, but oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Remember, when you're using liquids in resin, it cannot go over 10%. If it comes to mica powder, it's not so bad because it's a powder. But liquid will change the um, recipe or whatever you want to call it for the resin. Still not opaque. Okay. I'm going to have a look, see if I've got any blue mica powder because that's not colouring it deep enough for me. So that's a blue. More of a dark blue. There's a sky. Uh, I think I'm about to use this one. This is another set I bought off of um, eBay. Mozu Lou. Sounds like you're saying French, doesn't it? Mozu. Oh, I can't even open the bloody thing. <laughs> putting a load in as I said it's mica powder so it doesn't matter so much I get that uh, stirring Beautiful blue. It is a beautiful blue. Hopefully, it will want it darker. I do need it darker? So, it's uh, grey. Where's my black gone? Same set. Bonjour. I'm just going to put some black in it because I want it a bit darker. If it will let me. Whoa. Okay, let's see how dark this goes. Obviously, don't want it black. But, oh, if it went black, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to pour this on this one. Mm. Somehow it's ended up with uh, something on there.
somehow that one's not covered. Hmm. Must be a smaller pin. I didn't know that one though. That's weird. That is weird. But anyway, that's that covered. That looks a bit like denim. Do I want to do the same on that one? I do believe it will bring the flowers out more, won't it? Oh, that's a different colour. Slightly different colour. That's fine. Oh, that's... Yeah, no, nah, that'll do. It would do, wouldn't it? Okay. Why did I make so much? Don't need that much. Very, very carefully. Take it to the edge. And I filled a hole up. So if I go quiet, I am concentrating. <laughs> oh, I should have left it clear. Because that is just going down the hole. And that one. And that one. Them ones. I'm going to leave it as that because I don't know what it's going to look like now. I might have ruined it. But so far I can see it coming through the other holes. So 
going through the holes, look, and running off. How annoying is that? That is so frippin' annoying. Trying and hoping it's gonna pop that little bit in there. So much. Hey, working. <laughs> yeah. Ain't gonna work, is it? That one is. Mm, that one is. Maybe it will. And then, because this is the back. I think I've ruined my piece. Maybe I shouldn't put that back on. Smothered, 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 smothered. is now I've got it all underneath and I know I have and in here look do you know what oh any goats happy with that. So, just for the fun of it, um, where am I going to put this? Right. again right there's this one that I'm gonna finish off the front's fine I'm happy with the front oh, it's got a bit a bit of resin dripped on it oh great lovely nice one Sandra 
Oh, there you go, it's all gone. So this is the front. In love with the front. Okay, so this is going to be the back. So there's nothing to it. It's just plain. Oh no, I've got my rose on it, haven't I? It come out quite cool, bit dark. Maybe I shouldn't have used such a dark background. And it feels like it could do with a bit of a another coat on top because that's a bit sticky. So they will probably rub off if I'm not careful. Um, but it will be that will be the back. And that will be the front. Uh, that will be my pad. It will go in there. And there's these. That just, if you can get your strength, unhook, unhook. And then it just hooks in basically like that. And then you close them up obviously with the the back and the, the paper inside so that's how that will end up being oh dear get it apart now right so maybe that one and that one i'll show you put it together there's no point in me showing you me doing the um clear coat everybody knows how to do the clear coat so that goes in there and then that will go in, hopefully. Oh, don't you fall on the floor. Hopefully, 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 if I can get it right. In there. Oh, I had a little bit of a resin in the middle, but never mind. And then the pad. We'll go in there, like so, and then you just, oh, somehow, <laughs> without them all falling out, clip them. I don't like these clips, I must admit, not a love of them, clip them together, like this. These are quite stiff, these ones. That's it. And then there you go. You've got your pad back and front. As I said, I am not going to bother showing you me putting a backing on it. There's no point. But you can see it's sticky where it's got the um, transfer tattoo. So I'd be very careful because that is sticky so I will just put a very very light covering on that and uh, leave it to dry but there you go and there's your book just like that nice and easy well thank you very much for watching if you can please subscribe doesn't cost anything um just makes me feel good that somebody's watching and i'm not talking to myself um hit the notification bell so when i do upload something which isn't ev every week or anything like that it's when i put it up um and like it the more you like my videos the more people get to watch them because they can find them easier well, I'm going to put that down that side so it doesn't get ruined. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye.